Aloha, Claire Maxwell here. I'm in my studio where I teach the Alexander Technique. And this is the fourth, I believe, in a series of videos that I'm making um, learning about our central nervous system through mapping it, feeling it, kind of painting it on the surface of our skin. So we have uh, worked our way through all of the nerves that bring sensation to the skin of our face and head and neck. So we've made our way down to the fifth cervical nerve and I'm going to show you a picture of it today and trace it on the surface of my skin and then we're just going to do a little bit of movement. So here's the picture. It's the yellow one, so you can see it's just a tiny little strip um, that goes around the back of your neck right where the fifth cervical vertebra sticks out. It's kind of a bump. Um, it's maybe, see where my shirt goes? It's, you can feel it literally right there. So it's just a little strip. Um, the nerves branch out on either side of the spine and it just kind of goes up and over the edge of your trapezius muscle and then it kind of drapes across the very top of your shoulder blade on the outside here. So that would be where your coat kind of rests or in the 80s where we had those epaulettes that everybody had those in there in their um, clothes. And here's the other part of it that wraps around the front. So it goes from your sternum and kind of underneath your collarbone across the top of your armpit and all the way out to your wrist. And that's really an incredible span across. So it goes from the inside of your wrist down this inside of your forearm along the inside of your arm, the upper inside of your arm here, and across this expanse of muscle in your armpit that's really quite a lot of muscles and tissue there and you can kind of feel under there if you shrug your shoulder. And then it goes across right underneath your collarbone and that's a place where there's a lot of movement. So that skin is pretty sensitive. And then it crosses and goes to the other side. And so it's interesting that it's connecting this uh, the end of this little bone here, which can be a weight-bearing surface or a thrusting, a place that you thrust from, and it's covering the span of your body from there right up to <laughs> here, right? That's a big span to cover, a big relationship for you to be able to perceive. So I'm just going to come down on the floor here. It's going to be a little disorienting for a moment. And I'll just show you, again, this is an incredible span from your wrist all the way around your body, right? Very big span and that it relates those two, the ends of those two bones, right back into your neck, right back into here. So that's the first uh, nerve that's really relating your arms to your trunk and your torso. And so if you, if you use this as a surface on the floor, you'll see that you can kind of use it to push and you can use it to pull. 
And I think it's also no accident that you get a little bit of sensation from your shoulder blades um, because when you push and pull, your shoulder blades move in your back underneath all of that skin and it feels really good. So I'll just show you briefly um, what that looks like. I just wanna make sure I stay in your frame. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you might even notice sometimes that babies, their hands, they'll pull their hands up here and kind of push down with that forearm. So there's a tiny little rotation and what I notice is that when I have that rotation, it tends to free up my shoulder blades and my back, and they tend to move away and spread so that they, the more the whole thing spreads, it brings some tension actually into your back and it lifts you up. So if I push, you can see it kind of sequences through my body. So I could push, push, push. And then there's a coordination, really, of pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. And of course, your thumb starts to come into it, but we're not on that dermatome yet. So it's just a delicious, amazing sequence that goes through your body when you start to use this nerve pathway actively. And that's your fifth cervical nerve. So thanks for watching. Um, give it a try, see what you find out. Next one will be your thumb.